Mr. Chairman, Winston Churchill once said, if you have an important point to make, don't try to be subtle or clever. Use a pile driver. Hit the point once, then come back and hit it again. Then hit it a third time, a tremendous whack. Clearly, the subcommittee's recommendations today are that tremendous whack at our continued point that higher education needs to be more affordable for Virginia students and their families. You will recall, Mr. Chairman, Madam Speaker, at last session, we were able to provide sufficient resources to allow our colleges to not increase in-state undergraduate tuition and fees for the first time in almost 20 years. Building on this significant investment and momentum, the subcommittee recommends $111.8 million over the biennium to fully fund each institution's six-year plan while continuing to allow colleges to keep tuition at the FY 2020 levels into FY 2021. When you combine these funds with the other recommended increased funding for general operating support and financial aid, totaling more than $100 million over the biennium, this is an affordability sequel that Virginia families will truly enjoy. Mr. Chairman, I would point out that, like last year, this is not mandatory. Essentially, each institution's board of visitors can choose to decline the new general fund and raise the cost of in-state tuition. If that is their choice, we ask that their rector provide a copy of the board resolution to the chairman explaining that choice. The foregone moderation funds would be proportionally distributed to the schools that choose affordability. As previously noted, Mr. Chairman, the subcommittee also recommends $45.4 million in additional undergraduate financial aid, $22 million each in increased operating support, for Old Dominion and George Mason Universities, and $8 million for additional operating support at the VCCS, the Virginia Community College System. The subcommittee also recommends $8 million for Radford to allow for the reduction of tuition cost at the Carilion campus. Mr. Chairman, in keeping with the overall theme of accessible affordability, the subcommittee recommends 69 million dollars to implement an innovative financial assistance program at our two-year colleges that we believe will improve our workforce training pipeline. These funds will, will provide last dollar financial aid to eligible students to pay for tuition, fee, tuition fees and books in five program areas, technology, health care, public safety, early child education, and manufacturing and skilled trades. Our recommendations also provide $2 million for the VCCS for outreach efforts related to the program. Finally, Mr. Chairman, the subcommittee would like to thank you and Delegate Tyler for your leadership and support in providing for a compensation package in both years of the biennium. Mr. Chairman, Madam Speaker, details of our subcommittee.